Welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Bailey Wilborn filling in for Zach. We are less than 24 hours away from the start of the Mississippi State football season. The Bulldogs are in New Orleans in preparation for their game against Louisiana. This will be quarterback Tommy Stevens' first career start. Kickoff is at 11 a.m. The Ole Miss football team will also kick off their season tomorrow night. The Rebels will be taking on a tough opponent in Memphis. Memphis is one of the best group of five programs in the nation and are favored to win tomorrow's matchup. Coach Luke says that this game will show them a lot about where their team is. You know, you find out a lot about your team when the ball is kicked off and we'll be no different. You know, but I am I'm excited to watch these guys go out and play and find out where we're at. Obviously, Memphis, Memphis is a great football team and, uh, you know, it is a, uh, you know, a tremendous challenge. So we'll find out a lot about ourselves right off right off the bat. The Saints lost their final preseason game against the Dolphins last night. This was a lot of players' last chance to show what they've got before Coach Payton submits his final 53-man roster. Teddy Bridgewater had a solid outing, th throwing for 83 yards and a touchdown on less than 10 passes. Taysom Hill threw for 100 yards and rushed for another 35. A couple of running backs are on the chopping block, but Jaquez Rogers rushed for 30 yards and 7 carries. And rookie Divine Ozikbo rushed for 22 yards on four carries. Coaches have to have their final rosters in by tomorrow at 3 p.m. Fresh off defending its Women's World Cup title, the U.S. Women's National Team continuing their victory tour with the friendly against Portugal and Philadelphia. Tobin Heath and Morgan Bryan both scored in the first half on a Kristen Press assists. And then the second half off the throw and it's Lindsay Horan over to the hometown girl Carly Lloyd who scores on the tap in. That's 3-0 USA. The Americans would get one more in the second half to seal the deal. Team USA shuts out Portugal in the 4-0 win. U.S. Open action continues from the Big Apple. Last night, top-seeded American male player John Isner cruising to another straight-set victory over Jan Leonard Struff. Isner moving on to the third round. Then, teenage sensation Coco Goff taking on Tamia Babos. Goff won the first set 6-2, and many thought that this was going to end up being an easy match for the teenager. But Babos would bounce back in the second set to force a third. The third set ended up being a thriller. Nothing but long rallies. The crowd was into it, and then elite play on both sides. But Coco would break Babos to win the match. With Coco advancing, it sets up a blockbuster for tomorrow, as she will take on world number one, Naomi Osaka. But the big story of the day was 23-year-old American Taylor Townsend upsetting reigning Wimbledon champ Simona Halep. This match went to a third set tiebreaker when Townsend would put the champ away. It's her first career win over a top five opponent. A key to Townsend's success was her net play. She went to the net 105 times throughout the match. After the match, she spoke on her mindset going into this big time game. I mean, I was just like, what do you have to lose? I was like, I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to do like what I do best and where I'm the most comfortable, which is at the net. And um, I, won I won a lot of points. I lost points. I lost big points. But, you know, it re I was rewarded in the end. So that's what was most satisfying.